Welcome back. You are not the police. That's the warning to private security providers from the SAPS, which says they face arrest if they don't adhere to the law. The notice is contained in a police circular issued in December and followed by another issued by the private security regulator this month. But some in the industry are worried that it could curb their ability to support police. ENCA's Barry Bateman has more. The SAPS employs about 190,000 personnel, of which 40,000 are civilian staff. Meanwhile, the private sector regulator says there's about 570,000 registered security guards. And cooperation is key to combating crime. But a circular issued in December hints at strained relations. The police warn private security companies they should know their place or face embarrassment and possible arrest. The private security industry regulatory authority followed up with a circular of their own. Guarding companies say they play a key role and are mindful of the law. Uh, we as an armed response company serves as a first responder and we then obviously help the uh, police services in order to apprehend suspects. So um, I agree with the, the circular that went around regarding the SAPs. Angus Partridge believes that if the circular is enforced, it's the police and the public who will suffer. Police management have a valid argument in that they're worried about insurance policies, you know, wrongful shooting, wrongful arrests, who's going to be accountable. However, they can't afford not to have our support. They don't have enough manpower, they don't have enough equipment. So what do we do? We have to find a middle ground. Operationally on the ground, we still help them. Um, if you are instructed by a police officer to help them, whether you're a civilian or a security officer, you have to help them. The private security industry serves as a force multiplier for the men and women in blue. Some in the security sector say these two circulars tie their hands in their ability to perform some of their duties and support the SAPS. But what do the police have to say? Well, the SAPS declined to comment, saying the circular was intended for internal consumption. The private security regulator says the notice to the industry was merely a reminder to companies of where they stand legally. And the law does provide for security to assist the authorities. If you have been called by a police officer where there's an offence and say assist, you really need to assist. Regulation uh, 7 states about that and also the Criminal Procedure Act also states you know, instances where uh, when requested by, as a member of public by a police officer, you need to assist. The latest crime stats have again painted a grim picture. It's clear the police need as much support as they can get. Barry Bateman... Pretoria.